Hey Royals, it's your girl Kiki Yoko here with another video. Um, so today this video is going to be very different from the type of informative videos I usually do. So I made a list of what I am going to advise you guys about. And this is called Booty Call Tips. And I decided to make this video because even though it's getting colder and it's cuffing season, some people, they're not ready to know, you know, get into a serious relationship. So how to still keep the booty call things going on. So, and a lot of people that either been in a relationship for a long time and they broke up over the summer, so they need to start that you know that rotation and this is all inspired by the insecure series i don't know if you guys have been watching but it's gotten pretty crazy like for real for real so here we go so number one of the booty call tips don't get attached and also give yourself a pep talk so that's always the first thing you always have to keep reminding yourself like this is for me this is not for the guy or the other person if it is for the other person then you already messed up the whole booty call thing like you already messed up the friends of benefits whatever it is so when you get that phone call like oh what you doing you first gotta think about i already know where this is going but will i be doing this for the person or for myself so if it's for yourself then you continue you go into your bathroom or you go to your closest mirror you say whatever you gotta say to yourself so you don't get attached and catch no feeling so you feel confident even though you feel like if you've been slipping off your game for a little while sometimes you just be too in your head sometimes like you're not trying to impress them they don't matter this is for you so get out of your head so that's what the pet talk is for all right so that's how you get you started with your booty call second always have a backup plan and also a consistent rotation. So the reason why it's important to have a backup plan because maybe that person has a backup plan and maybe the main person, you gotta be real, real with yourself. They probably have a main person that they would have preferred to be with that night. And then they was like, let me try you just in case and that person answered. So then they dubbed you. So you gotta have a backup or maybe the transportation way that you was going to use to go by that person is a no go, like it's not working out or whatever the case is that the plans is canceled with booty call option number one you need another one so at the same time while you're getting ready you guys are exchanging what's going to be happening hit somebody start a other conversation just in case this person is like nah you already dressed up and you feeling yourself you need to get out the house you need to go somewhere you already put in your mind you're not staying home you're not sleeping home so yes make sure you have a backup plan and make sure you don't go from this first booty call to a douchebag because then you're gonna really hate yourself that day number three carry condoms please like not a lot of guys are strapped up or stay strapped for this time some of them have these excuses that it's too tight they're allergic they get irritated make sure you know your booty call guy like when y'all have these conversations if you know he's strictly gonna be for booty calls and you know just smashing and dashing know these things like oh are you the type of guy to make a condom excuse or do you actually stay strapped because you know everybody got things to do we ain't trying to have kids right now you know make it like make it a joke so you know if we do ever get into the situation i'm prepared so you either have like your lamb skins or your vegan condoms or whatever type of person he or she is so like and also like another tip that i want to give like with condoms a lot of people are scared to have the conversation i feel like it's easier to have the conversation over text i i can't lie like i i still get a little like not intimidated but i still get nervous to ask that question because i used to say like oh well he has the penis like he should be worrying about it but a lot of guys don't give up like they don't care about your vagina they will give you anything son so it's easier to have the conversation beforehand when you text so like when you get there and he started doing stuff be, be like yo you, you got the stuff and he'd be like oh yeah 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 because y'all discussed it so he's not gonna sit there and be like what are you talking about so anyways second tip for that category is just in case he doesn't have or you're scared to bring it up place the condoms in your bra and I say place the condoms in your bra because you can be getting busy or whatever you're making out what have you when they start taking off clothes you have 
two options or you have two time lapse that you can stop and you know make sure that that is taken care of because a lot of people are scared to speak up so if he you know take off your bra or whatever and he see the condom drop out he know what it's for be like oh yeah like can you put that on like do you mind oh this is for you like for now like you know like don't like even if you're scared still try to make make obstacles or make like not obstacles make mm, like make a situation where you don't have to say much like you know so i would say like the condom in your bra trick is like the best bet especially if it's your first time and you're scared to have a conversation and he's doing a lot and he's and and even if you try to ignore it be like oh like just hold it like oh here and that's it you can still be cute with it okay booty call tip number four put undies in pocket or under pillow okay let's get real now time to get real now i tell y'all this is all off of experience i'm not giving y'all tips just out of my ass in the internet this is real shit okay so what always tends to happen is like you guys get crazy in the mood or whatever panties is flown you don't know where so but at the moment you don't give a fuck but the next day you're trying to rush out because you know this is the booty call hour gap this is when you gotta leave or else he gonna feel like you're trying to make it a relationship or you're trying to get too comfortable like that's gonna go on to my other tips further but anyways back to what i was saying so i feel like to keep track of your panties which is very important because you don't want to leave no evidence because i don't know what type of situations some y'all be in some y'all be fucking around with guys that have girls and don't care so i mean to save your ass make sure you're not leaving no evidence so or maybe he shares a room with somebody or it's not even his room but he borrowing the room make sure you're not leaving no underwear yeah you, know, you know have it like for respect out of yourself and that person's you know environment so as soon as everything's going to pop in he, the panties is taken off you grab it immediately or even before y'all start or you go to the bathroom put it in the pants pocket that you came in if you're not wearing any pants and you're wearing a skirt or a dress put it in your jacket pocket if you don't have a jacket pocket i say as soon as the panties come off you grab it or if you see it in the middle of the session you grab it and tuck it under the pillow or under in the pillowcase so even if somebody pick up the pillow or whatever because they're coming in the next morning to look for something because he shares a room they not keeping your panties under the pillow it will be under the pillowcase so or or you can come in commando and when you leave you know you got fresh panties in your pocket hello all right let's go let's go get a bag walk with a baggie put them panties in i'm telling y'all next tip uh number five have wipes on deck now wipes yo people wipes is not only for babies wipes comes in handy because you don't know like what is gonna like what's going on like how you're gonna feel or what's gonna happen so like a lot of people they have roommates or whatever or they live with family members you might not feel comfortable like me i'm a i'm a scary cat I, i'm frightened of people's families okay i do not want to encounter any family at all because i'm having an anxiety attack like i would dead stay in the room son but what since i like to deal with Indian men their family is very nosy they do not like when they are ignored or feel like they're being ignored so you have to come in and say good evening but after i've said my good evening i'm staying the fuck in the room so anyways back to my point so if you're scared to go out after everything is done to take a shower like the next day or like people is already up or they got roommates and you you just don't feel comfortable at all to travel to the bathroom when the bathroom is not close by walk with wipes walk with a baggie with some wipes so it could fit in your bag use the wipes to clean up after your little session because he probably not gonna come out especially if y'all gonna cuddle after but he still want to be cleaned up here's your wipes clean yourself up here's my wipes clean myself up and if you got garbage can in the room or you got extra plastic bag in your bag put that in there like so if you're leaving you got the wipes wipe up yourself and what have you put on your clean panties you stored in your pocket or that's under the pillowcase and you're good to go like wipes come in handy and you can either walk with wipes um wipes for like your vagina because it's a lot of yoni um wipes there's some that I actually want to try i need like sensitive wipes so i'm gonna like try to insert a picture or if i ever buy it i'm gonna show you guys but get like a portable pack 
or just put some wipes in a baggie that you can use to wipe down there and it is safe enough to use on your face just in case like you wake up looking crusty or sleepy even though you didn't get to sleep or whatever and what have you so that's very important have wipes on deck number six walk with a baggie for your wig yo okay this never happened to me before but i see how guys roll so it's a possibility so a lot of us ladies like to rock the wigs even though you pin you know you got extra pins in there because you're trying to wear the wig throughout the whole thing guys have no chill they don't give a fuck about your hair they don't give a fuck about your hair okay they will rip off your wig because it's in the way and they can't see what you're doing they will rip your wig and throw it to the wall and it will look like cousin it on the floor you grab that wig and you put it in the baggie because i be seeing some girls walking outside I, you could tell like they just came from booty call because their hair look crazy they probably ain't walk with a brush or a strong enough brush then he ain't give them no time to comb out their hair so they have to walk around with a crazy wig on walk with a baggie to put your wig in if you can't fix that if you can't shake it and go and put it back on your head and go walk with the baggie and either walk with a bonnet or a dad hat to put on after so you at least look presentable in public you don't want nobody knowing or guessing where you came from i'm very self-conscious about that because i feel like when people be staring at me i feel like they know what the hell was going on and that's just my guilt but you know what no one can judge me anyways walk with a baggie for your wig not trying to get embarrassed not trying to leave it around so you could put your wig on snapchat and shit like no we're not having it we are queens bitch. another thing also going well addition to uh, the wig also have a transitional hairstyle so if you do have a wig like under your wig you have some type of situation going on that is still good in the environment like i remember from one experience i had curly clippings in my hair and but my real hair was you know in a twist out so the clippings blended it with my hair and the clippings looked rough so i took them out and i put them in a bag and i just shook my hair and i rocked my twist out like if you have like a um a short hairstyle going on or the safest hairstyle is a twist out because it's supposed to look big and wild so either way all you do is shake it up and you keep it moving you don't want to be walking out there and you came in with like straight bangs in the front with a short haircut and your bangs look like a mohawk now because how are you going to transition that to go outside if anything walk with a dad hat so you could put on top of that also if it's not looking too hot for you anyways <laughs> number seven inform someone where you are going now this is very important because there's a lot of things always happening on the news people are going missing parents have no idea where their kids are friends have no idea where their friends are no one knows and then they end up somewhere crazy that no one has any clue and then they can't find who's responsible for this what's going on so i know that some people get like ashamed or they're embarrassed because they know that their friend lectured them about this fuck boy for months and they still go in to throw it back on him but you know what you know he's a good time and he's worth it just for a little chills and thrills even if your friend is gonna curse you or even if you know she don't approve at least let them know let at least two people know if you cool with your parents and they'll be like oh i'm going to chill with this guy i've been talking to for a minute parents can't really if you're old enough i should say parents can't really stop you they can't tell you no don't have a life don't try to find a mate because they've been there done that they love to say that been there done that well hey i don't gotta really explain to you what that means when i say i'm gonna go check this friend anyways yeah so let at least two people know or one person know where you are and it's even better if that one person knows your parents so just in case anything pop off they will hit up your parents in a heartbeat like yo um shorty says she was going to hang out with dude don't know what happened i know where this dude is you can even send them the address if you want to or you can tell them track my uber for me tell them if you're taking an uber there tell them sign into your uber account and track your uber so they know when you got there or what have you like you know if you really have a close close enough friend like that not a lot of people have friends like that but if you do have a friend that would look out for you like that do that or if they can drop you off over there and you already know dude's address then hey you're good so make sure that is very important oh number eight mouthwash and toothbrush so most booty calls 
it's like it's already your significant other me i have a drawer in my boyfriend's trusted drawer so like i feel like if your boyfriend don't let you have a drawer something is wrong and you need to go investigate i am pro investigation if something is not right in a relationship don't go crazy but investigate okay but anyways i have a drawer in my boyfriend's trusted drawer and in there i keep a loofah toothbrush um wipes and it used to be a spare deodorant but he'd be using it up so um that's what i keep in there but if you do not have those you know applications if you can't do that and it's just a dude that you just messing with walk with your own toothbrush and mouthwash again if you're scared to go to the bathroom and you're not trying to like you know be in the bathroom for long or whatnot either time come with you to the bathroom because that's what i do too with my boyfriend because i'm frightened of family i tell him walk come with me to the bathroom like walk me to the bathroom and he walked me to the bathroom and i brush my teeth the door's right there and i dip so you can either tell him walk you to the bathroom so you can brush your teeth or walk with mouthwash just a swizzle or whatever and you can spit it out whatever in a cup or whatever and you're good to go and you can leave because that's very important because you want to be out there with stink breath and another thing that goes hand in hand with that already like eat before you attend your booty call because if it strictly is a booty call they are not concerned about your stomachs if you guys just go straight to the business you guys are not going to get to you're not going to be able to get fed some guys they like to ask you if you want food or a drink to get you comfortable take advantage because as soon as the deal is done you're going to get kicked out and they're not going to offer you breakfast but if it's your significant other you will get breakfast and you should get breakfast you are entitled to breakfast because you did a damn good job because not everyone has the privilege to just call their significant other over and get a whole thing thrown back at them all right so just remember that anyways number nine face wipes so this goes back to what i said we'll always have wipes on deck walk with face wipes you know get the morning crusties out your eyes if you have hand lotion in your bag or any type of lotion in your bag cream your face so you look like you just had a normal day you know number number 10 wear transitional clothes so what i mean by that is don't come over there in a freakum dress and then you gotta leave like seven o'clock in the morning in a freakum dress on a friday or a saturday because everybody already know what you did so even if you don't care at the same time i don't want none of my royals out there looking crazy again this has happened out of experience it'd be days that me and my boyfriend go to the bar or i'm turned and i'm already dressed up and stuff and I go over to his house because I had a drunk fight with friends. I want to just go over to his house and just show him. And then when I gotta leave, sometimes I take his clothes, but I don't return it. So I try not to take his clothes. So, uh, and he's really tall. So not all of his clothes fit me. And y'all know I'm, I'm like 5'3". So I'm very small. Anyways, so I sometimes have to leave out in a freakum outfit it's happened i went to parties and we did not leave until like five six o'clock in the morning and i had to walk out there with a freakum dress it was very embarrassing very cold so i would say please walk with you know some sweatpants a nice top if you have a jacket it's winter time if it's winter time it's easier to conceal your clothes because you're gonna have a big jacket on hopefully but if anything if you still want to be sexy i would say just have a sexy bra underneath have a sexy underwear what have you like you know have your little garter belt under your um sweatpants you can still do that but just make sure that when you're you know the next day you can walk out and still look like a regular civilized citizen and no one could tell what you did last night or can read your business on the outside you know what i'm saying and last but not least know when to leave me personally, I don't want nobody to have to kick me out of their damn house, all right? I want to, I will leave when I feel like it's a good time to leave and I will know when it's a good time to leave. Me, even though like it, it be my boyfriend or whoever, I either leave as soon as everything is done. But if, if you're done and it's like four o'clock in the morning, I feel like you should try to wait a little bit until like five or six because transportation if you live in new york city i don't know about anybody else some people got cars they can just jump or whatever but um yeah make sure you have like 
uh, oh, make sure you have a Metro card or you schedule the Uber to leave. Or again, if you got that good friend that could come pick you up or whatever, but no one to leave. Like if it's that type of guy that he's treating you like, okay, looking at you like, well, you know, uh, he not even trying to even get under the covers because he wants you to leave. I would say then don't then go to your booty call at an early enough time and let them know from jump like I'm not traveling to your house 10 11 o'clock and at night so if you know you want to chill let me know by 7 so you can get there by 8 o'clock and if everything is done you can leave by 11 12 and that's a decent enough time so make sure you have everything structured if they hit you up and it's 11 o'clock it's not worth it unless somebody's dropping you and picking you up or you have the funds to get an uber and it's no issue then go ahead and do that my dear but do not travel and you don't know how the hell you're getting back home or you gotta wait on the bus that's not good at all okay so anyways royals that was my video i hope you really enjoyed it i hope it was very informative let me know if any of these tips was very informative to you let me know if it was some things that i pointed out that you never really thought about or especially if i missed one because i've been out of the game for a minute so let me know what's like any new tips or other helpful tips that you came across that would really help all the other royals in this time okay so have a blessed and peaceful day stay safe royals and i will come back with another video that can help you in all around life Later, Louise.